Yo, what's up guys, it's Kizzle here and we're back with the episode number 4 for our beloved 10 things noobs do in Call of Duty Zombies and this is episode number 4 ladies and gentlemen and trust me, we're joined by Mr. Bob and you guys know Bob is crazy but this time around we're gonna give him that rank where we actually call him Mr. Bob No more Bob! From now on, we're gonna call him Mr. Bob. And ladies and gentlemen, quickly wanna let you know that this is gonna be relevant for Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare Zombies, and even for the new zombies that we just got, but I cannot name the game because apparently Papa YouTube is listening, and you already know what I'm saying. So, this is gonna be a relevant video, or series rather, for the whole of Call of Duty Zombies. And I am pumped because this is gonna be a really, really cool episode. And of course, if you're watching this around uh, DLC one time or hey, let's just say Treyarch is about to release uh, their next Call of Duty ride Black Ops 4 or whatever it's gonna be called This is gonna be relevant for that one as well And I want to continue this series for that long as well because this is just one of my favorite series So if you have seen any noobs out there doing something noobish in particular Just let me know in the comments and hey, I will feature you in my next episode And if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe of course if you play zombies or if you play any games that that are close to zombies. If you play video games, make sure to subscribe. But coming in at our number 10 spot now, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be mind blown. This one is coming from a guy by the name of Cupid Stun. What a marvelous username, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta give it up for that one. But hey, check this out. Number one. Noob would be the host who rage quits giving you connection interrupted on Black Ops 3 zombies even from one down and you guys know Mr. Bob right? Mr. Bob goes down on round 2 sometimes even on round 1 sometimes he goes down before like the game even starts like what? But what I'm saying here is that Mr. Bob will always be the host and that's what I'm saying I don't understand like this world of ours where we live in right? Like Mr. Bob will get that host position um um he will be the host and that means he will have have that power now he goes down on round two and of course he will have that first down he will quit and other people like my boy Cupid Stun, my boy like Carlos they will all get connection interrupted and I mean it's not a good meme I mean if you're Alejandro then it's a good meme but Alejandro wouldn't want to experience that for himself he want others to experience it but not for himself if you know what I'm saying but for some reason Mr. Bob will get that host position I guess we'll never know ladies and gentlemen and I quickly want to let you know keep it stunned if you're watching I have a ton of your comments and they will be featured throughout this series but coming in at our number nine spot ladies and gentlemen prepare to be mind blown again because this one is coming from a guy by the name of Nicholas and just want to let you know I don't know him but he's my boy now if you have any problem don't come at me no very important all right and very important but he says Camping near a window and let me tell you a good meme in the new zombies. That's what I'm gonna call it I cannot just name the game, but in the new sledgehammer zombie game We have windows, but guess what? We, we cannot rebuild barriers That's the first thing noobs are here and they get mind blown. They're like holy shit So I don't have to like rebuild a barrier I may just camp there and I'm just looking at Bob I'm saying like Bob bro like you cannot rebuild barriers meaning they will come out of those windows and hey They made this game a little bit scary. I mean, let's be real. It's it's not scary, but what I'm saying here, I mean their intention was to make this game scary. Sometimes you see zombies coming out of those windows like there is no tomorrow. And hey, we're talking about Bob here, right? Or I'd rather Mr. Bob. We're talking about Mr. Bob here. And Mr. Bob is paranoid all the time whenever he's playing zombies. And hey, he likes to camp. He likes to take things slowly, easily. He's on round one. Let's just say that, right? He's camping near a window. Seconds later, there's a jump scare. My boy, he will be so paranoid. And now he just won't even camp near him though like would but hey he will go back to black ops 3 zombies and he will repeat the shit out of it that's what i'm saying these noobs man they will always camp near a window but at our number eight spot now this one comes from lane winters now check this out all right ladies and gentlemen he says or he or she says okay guys let's get pap asap doesn't help getting pap at all Th that's what i'm saying my man my man you know what i'm saying right so in the new zombies basically we don't really have double pack punch so when bob first heard that he was screaming yo this is not a dank meme crazy right because bob always screamed dank meme dank meme but this time around he screamed for the first time and guess what he screamed 
No, this is not a dank meme. That's what he was saying. No meme. No, no dank meme. It's crazy because uh, I didn't expect that Mr. Bob would ever say that, right? But whatever, right? Uh, Mr. Bob, he will be like, yo, let's get pap ASAP. And as soon as he pack punch it, he's like, yo, this shit doesn't even help. Because the thing is, he will go down on round two. So like, hey, dog, like he cannot even pack a punch. Yeah. But A, coming in at our number seven spot, we have someone by the name of Mamoon Mamoon. I, I, I don't know. My mind is already blown by just reading that username but hey he says noob would use the power vacuum on early rounds that's what i'm saying ladies and gentlemen for some reason or the other uh mr bob he got some liquid duinium right he actually used those liquid duiniums inside the dr monty factory and guess what Surprise, right? He got those power vacuum gobblegums, not just one. He got two power vacuum. That's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. He got two of them. Guess what? He used them on round two. He's like, yo, shit, I, I'm not gonna take any else this time around. And he was like, okay, let me hit the gobblegum machine. Um, um, seconds later, guess what? The game gave him those power vacuum and uh, he used once. He's like, yo, this is just like, mm, I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna use that once again. And guess what? After using that on early rounds, he, this time around got you round five yes but coming in at our number six spot now check this out all right before i get on to that i quickly want to let you know that i'm super guilty of this one this was used to be a thing that i used to do back in the days when i was a noob right and i quickly want to let you know hey if you are guilty of anything that i got on the list here let me know in the comments below by just dropping a number just be real drop it in the comments you know what i'm saying but my boy akin said not training and trying to kill the zombies the second they come out and not headshot now i'm not sure what he exactly means to say towards the end but what i'm assuming he means to say here is that not training but killing the zombies a second they spawn in and you don't even go for the headshot you just go for the body shot or leg shot and mr bob all right he is crazy. He's like, yo, at the second zombies come out, I'ma just kill them. He's like, yo, headshot, it, it's a little bit too much. Um, it, it can just hurt zombies because zombies life matters. Yeah, that that's Mr. Bob for you. He's like, zombies life matters. I'm not gonna headshot, but guess what? He just kills the zombie, and I'm, I'm saying like, yo, Bob, you crazy, dog. But guys, that's the life Mr. Bob lives. He don't care. The man doesn't care. He's like, yo, I'ma just get get those zombies as soon as they spawn in. Their life matters, so I'm not gonna headshot. And he will somehow feel good about himself. He's like, yo, this was just like the beautiful thing I ever done. Hashtag, um, um, I got this. You know what I'm saying? He's just all over, guys. But hey, at our number five spot, I got you guys a young bang all right check this out once again mr bob he just he don't care right just hear me out okay so toxic money says using shopping free in brook that's what i'm saying and ladies and gentlemen you won't believe me when i say this all right mr bob all right he was playing zombies somehow once again he got those liquid duvenium all right he went inside the dr monty factory he got those shopping free goblins like there was no tomorrow i mean he only got one but he was screaming dank meme dank meme right he jumped on Virak. he was like yo shit this map seems hard i never played this map this is gonna be my first playthrough hey i got the shopping free let me use the shop free on the rug let me open the whole map right and guess what he used the shopping free and he was found near the mystery box that's what i'm saying ladies and gentlemen mr bob in 2017 he has evolved he he does didn't even use the shopping free for opening doors he was like no i'm just gonna hit the box on the rug and uh, call of duty zombies ladies and gentlemen call of duty zombies but hey at our number four spot i got you guys another banger all right check this out now my boy dark jester says they also killed the last zombie when you are trying to do the easter egg and that's what i'm saying ladies and gentlemen mr bob he don't listen the man don't even give a flying damn guys he's like okay so you don't want to kill the last zombie if you want to do the easter egg he's like yo how are we gonna do the easter egg if you don't kill the last zombie that's exactly what his mentality is he's like okay so if you don't kill the zombie how can we do the easter egg if you don't kill the zombie how can we do the easter egg if you don't kill the zombie how can we do the easter egg he just goes around in his mind he does the all those weird uh calculations and Towards the end, he comes up with a solution. He's like, we gotta kill the zombie. We gotta kill the last zombie. And the second he kills it, 
everyone go bozo and it just becomes a good meme because the problem is Mr. Bob does calculation in his mind. That's the problem because if he was like saying uh, that out loudly like hey last zombie I'm gonna kill him of course Carlos will remind him yo Bob Mr. Bob don't don't do it don't do it right but hey Mr. Bob is crazy he will kill the last zombie before he jumps in the easter egg and Mr. Bob is always excited he's like T. Martin 2.0 yeah T. Martin is nothing like T. Martin when he's excited he's not nothing uh, Bob dude you never know how excited Mr. Bob is. He's like, yo, we're gonna do the Easter egg. I'm gonna kill the last zombie. Boom! I'm gonna jump inside the Easter egg. But guess what? Everyone is panicking. Everyone is like, yo, that was not a good meme, dog. And Mr. Bob is screaming, dank meme, dank meme. That's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Bob is... But coming in out of our number three spot, ladies and gentlemen, my boy, Lit Savage says, where is Mustang and Sally? And check this out, all right? He actually said that on one of my videos where I was just talking about all of Wonder Rap and I just can't. I just can't. I replied, I was like, yo, it's not a Wonder Rap and dude. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. And the point I'm trying to make here is that to Mr. Bob, everything can be a good meme, aka a good Wonder Rap. And Mustang and Sally, we all love it, of course. It's kind of good that Mr. Bob would love it too. But Mr. Bob is always like, yo, dank meme, this is a Wonder Rap. And, and hey, the game after that, he would play uh, Revelations, right? And he would get the Wonder Rap and out of the box, aka the Apothecary Servant. Then he will be so mind blown, you have no idea. But hey, Mr. Bob. He doesn't even give a flying damn and he's like, yo, Mustang and Sally, that's a wonder weapon. But hey, at our number two spot, I just want to let you know, okay? So this is going to be a little banger and at our number one spot, I will have a big banger, all right? So check this out. My boy Khalid33533 underscore four, doesn't matter. He said that two months ago and I'm sure I actually took a screenshot of this like two months ago as well. So it has been a while, right? But he says his friend would achieve 100 downs and uh, to him, this is gonna be an achievement but the problem is if mr. Bob goes down once he will quit the game right and he will start a new game but hey let me tell you a secret of mr. Bob now check this out right there was once upon a time right there was a guy that actually kind of like called out mr. Bob he was like yo let's see who can get hundred down fast and that's exactly when mr. Bob was like thrown into this thing called competition and mr. Bob was like yo I I'm gonna achieve 100 down and he would legit like hold grenade and what he will do to achieve that faster he would be like yo Carlos help me out I'm gonna hold grenades all right and uh, I'll go down and then revive me and guess what he will like hold grenades all right first of all you spawn in with like two or four grenades I don't even know like I, at this point yeah I called me a noob too but what I'm saying here is that he will spawn in with some grenades he will use those grenades to go down and guess what he will be like yo Carlos revive me and when Carlos revive him and he loses all his grenades he will be like yo Carlos throw your grenades at me I will hold square that's what I'm saying ladies and gentlemen that's what I'm saying Mr. Bob has evolved and he will achieve those hundred downs because hey somebody called him out and Mr. Bob don't like that but coming in at our number one spot ladies and gentlemen I got you guys with a banger now check this out this is very important don't miss don't miss it's a banger all right my boy Yuri Chu HD says Bob the type of guy to buy boy knife and never knife zombies that's what I'm saying ladies and gentlemen he's like yo boy knife is a big fat long one I'm gonna buy that oh shit it costs 3,000 points it's gonna be a dank meme he buys it guess what he don't even knife he's like yo shit that's who mr. Bob is and I want each and every single one of you to understand who mr. Bob is because that's who mr. Bob is but check out some other videos on the screen check out the playlist where I have all the noobs episode and hey let me know that one thing that you see noobs doing in the comments below and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you very freaking soon